Uh, hi everybody, it's me Pamela Williams and I am um, going to attempt to do a quick video to show you guys how to use Tiny Torch, uh, which is so easy and it makes my parties so much easier for me because it will post for me and then I can just uh, follow up, refresh like everybody else and comment and answer questions instead of worrying about copying and pasting my posts. Um, so first thing you want to do is um, if you don't have an account go ahead and click sign up. Uh, when you click sign up it'll ask you to enter your email address, a username and a password. Um, so I've already done all that so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Once you log in the first thing that you'll want to do is come over here to this little icon in the top right. Uh, yours probably does not have a name on it yet um, but go ahead and click on the bottom arrow and click on social accounts. Um, once you do that um, it'll say to add the social account uh, click and click on Facebook. Once you do that it's probably going to take you to um, the Facebook page and ask you to log in. Go ahead and log in so that it will uh, let you um, connect uh, the Tiny Torch to the Facebook. It's going to ask you if it can manage your posts, if you can use your friends, tell it yes or okay on all of those. <clears throat> Once you do that, then it'll come back to this page here. It'll give you your profile, so you see that I have a profile. I also have a couple of Facebook pages. I have a couple that um, are deleted and a couple that never even got started, so um, it will show you all of your pages here. So um, the two that I want to post to regularly is my regular profile and then my Sensi, um, my main Sensi Facebook page because these are the ones that are going to post to my parties. Uh, and then go ahead and click whichever ones you want and then click done. Okay, and then it'll show here, um, this is my Facebook profile, this is my, um, my regular one that I use, and then this is my Facebook page. Uh, you can add Twitter to it as well. Um, I don't use my Twitter that much, so I haven't done it. Um, make sure that you have those there, and once you do, then you can start um, doing your posts. So I have a, a live Facebook party tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and load in um, my, my post for tomorrow. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Create button and I'm going to select an image. So this is going to be my first um, post for party day. And um, you can follow a script. I actually am starting a new one where I'm um, following Shauna's script that she posted recently. Um, it's worked well, so it kind of gives a good overview and then I go and I kind of post some of the, like my favorite warmers and specials. Um, so the first one is my post. It's for my target lady. So I'm going to choose my image that I want to come out. Um, then, and sorry, I have my Word document halfway hidden over here. Um, but you don't need to see um, that one. So then I'm going to go ahead and copy and text or whatever your text is that you want to have. Um, and mine says... Um, you know, don't forget it's tonight, and mine is occurring at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time for this one. I don't add a link to shorten. I don't use the tags. Um, you could probably do that to make it uh, visible. Um, I don't myself. Um, and it tells you right here also how many characters you have left if you're doing Facebook. Also tells you how many you have left for Twitter. Um, which is one of the main reasons why I don't use Twitter <laughs> because I usually am way too lengthy for the amount. So I'm already 95 characters over. So then I'm going to click Create. And then it gives you a chance to look at it again. Hey, do I have the right picture? Do I have the right post? Yes. So now, um, I'm sorry, I'm adding it to my collection. That way I don't have to repost it every time. Um, and I've already started mine, so see mine says since the online party live. And you can do that just by clicking collections here, but you don't have to worry about that for now. Um, then I'm going to click share. 
And here, this is where I'm going to post. So for this one, I'm going to post to um, Pamela Williams. Oh, no, I don't want to post to my profile. I actually only want to post to my party. So you can see it also has all the events <laughs> that I've ever attended, groups that I'm a part of. So um, make sure that you get the right one. This one is going to be my Rachel's Live Sensi Facebook party. Okay. Um, I can post as myself. I can post as on my consultant page. Either one will work. And then the important part is down here where it says schedule for later. So you want to click yes for that and then when to share. So my party's tomorrow. And I am converting it. So it starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, which is 6 p.m. Mountain Time. And that's where I'm at now. Okay. Um, mine is already set for Mountain Time since that's where I currently am. So you see that here. So you'll need to pay close attention. <coughs> um, you can change your time zones if you want. Um, I just kind of do the conversion. Um, so 8 p.m. Eastern Time is going to be 6 p.m. Mountain Time. It's tomorrow and now I'm going to schedule my post. All right, so now it'll show here my scheduled post. It is going to go to my event, which is Rachel's Live Sensi Facebook Party. Here's my picture and here's my image. And then again, it says pending. So let's go ahead and do that again. And this time we will do to um, my page now. So I'll just put a little generic one so that you can see how it post to your page. All right, so let's go to my my Facebook page. And it looks like everybody in my household is on the internet suddenly. <laughs> All right, so hopefully that'll come up in just a second. Um, so then what I do is I go through all my posts, um, get them all in there loaded, especially for um, the pre-posts, so the ones that are three hours before, two hours before, one hour before. I'm usually getting dinner ready for family, and so I don't always remember those on time. Um, but the, I think they are super important for your Facebook parties because you want to um, create that into anticipation that it's going to be starting soon. Uh, so, why is my internet not working today? Of course, it works fine all day while I'm at work. Um, now, when I want to do the fun stuff, it doesn't want to work. Okay, there we go. So let's select an image again. So this time <coughs> I'm just going to post um, something kind of generic. So, um, so Survivor is on tonight and I'm missing it because I have all the shipping I need to do. Uh, Right, so again, I put in my post, I can select an image if I want, and then I'm going to click Create. Okay, this time, I'm not going to save it to um, any of my uh, collections, since this is just really to show you. Okay, so our finale is on. All right, it's created, so we're going to share it. 
And so you can see I don't have anything here, just my little share to come to Rachel's party. All right, and so I'm going to post that to my profile. I'm not going to do it to any of my things. And I'm going to schedule for later. So it's 8.52 uh, now. So let's say I'm going to share that in three minutes. Okay, click Done. And then click Schedule. And then here it's pending. Okay, it's coming on tonight at 8.55. It's going to be on my profile page. Okay, so remember here's my profile. And nothing's on it yet. See, nothing yet. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So create, we're going to select an image. And this time I'm going to do the one that is three hours before. So my image is going to be of my uh, locked out. post is going to say three more hours then we're going to be on lockdown all right then we're going to create make sure it looks good click share all right we're going to I'm going to post as myself and I'm going to post to Rachel's party I'm going to schedule for later okay I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow. And my party starts at 8, so three hours before that is 5 p.m., um, which in Mountain Time will be 3 p.m. All right, so it's 3 p.m., and then I'm going to go ahead and schedule it. <coughs> All right, and then again, there we go. It'll show you our two scheduled ones. And see, here's my one for 8.55 today. It's still pending. And you can always go back and edit it. If you realize something's wrong, you can change the time of it. <clears throat> and then click Update. You also have the option of sending now. Um, so let's say later on you come back and you realize that you want to just go ahead and post um, that post now. You don't want it to wait. You can actually just come and click Send Now, and then it'll post it automatically. All right, sorry about my internet connection. I think all three members of my family are watching Netflix now. So. All right, so I wanted to try and wait until 8.55 so you could see um, when it automatically posts onto my Facebook page. It is really, really easy. It does take a little bit of time to load in your posts, but it is so worth it. Um, I know that when I'm doing a live Facebook party, it takes, um, it was taking a lot out of me. And there we go. There is my post that I created, and now it says just now, and then see how it says it was posted via tiny, tiny torch. All right, so I hope um, that it showed you just how easy it was that you can add your posts. Um, and it's easy to keep your collections in for next time as well. That way you can spend more time um, communicating, um, interacting with your party guests, and answering questions. Um, and sometimes it's hard to do posting in both, and you kind of miss out on some of the interaction or the fun stuff. So um, this is definitely something that helps. So um, I hope that it was simple enough that you could get. If you do have any questions or run into anything, just let me know and I'll try to help you. Bye. Happy posting.